We're here with Brad Caton of Vigo Communications. Brad, you've got a robot uh, just over here, which right. a robot over here which connects and does telepresence video communications. Tell us, who would want to do that? <laughs> Good question. Well, yeah, that's exactly what it is. So it's uh, telepresence robotics is what it's known as, the product category. And whether you're an educator, uh, you work in healthcare, or you're maybe an executive at a large corporation, it allows you to transport yourself from one location to another. So unlike video conferencing, where there's two groups meeting between TV monitors, it's a different model here. You're literally transporting yourself from one location over the internet to another, and this is, in essence, your avatar in a remote location. So it sort of looks a bit like a very upstanding sort of uh, trolley. That's, that's slightly be rude about, about the way it looks. But um, wouldn't it be the sort of thing where you miss out on a lot? I mean, how, how beneficial is it to be able to do that? Why, why would someone just not want to actually go to the office and do it? Well, sure. Well, it doesn't replace being there, right? So it, nothing better than being in that location. But often you can, whether you're traveling for business or personal reasons. So this is the next best thing. So if you can't be there in person, you can send your robotic avatar there in your place, and you can move around, see, hear, talk, interact, as well as uh, do things that you just can't do from a cell phone or even from a PC video conferencing system. This costs five thousand dollars for the, the actual thing. It costs five thousand U.S. dollars. We certainly have executives using it right now, so people that that run companies. Can you can you say which ones? Um, sure. There's a company called Palomar Health. There's another company called uh, Orbitz, a, a travel site. And, and so these companies are put in different locations to go from one location to another. And it's, it's a productivity tool, right? So it's not just the fact that you can go from one place to another. It's not having to be, go to the airport and travel and all the downtime that that requires. It seems like it might be sort of the sort of thing where people would feel it was spying on them, that this, this sort of little white avatar comes around the corner and they'd worry about who's, who's behind it. Yeah, people have, people have asked that, and um, I think the first day or two that a system comes in, people may worry about that. But really, if the employees that are doing a good job, um, they don't worry that the boss is around. And indeed, the, the boss being around is a good thing, because they can help, help mentor, help coach, and of course be more productive for the overall operations and the projects that are being worked on. Brad Caton, thanks very much. Thanks.